We're in the heartland of America, and there is no place I would rather be than here with you tonight. A bunch of guys jumped me on a bus because they didn't feel that I deserved to be on that bus because of my color. So I went to this one restaurant. I got really scared because they looked at me as a target because I wore a hijab. And it's just the thing that I cover my hair with. He always says, you can say whatever you want. It stays in this room. And I really do let my heart out. Everyone's starting to not, if not love each other, then learn to accept one another and learn to tolerate people, I guess. It's kind of like a, a therapist room where like everybody's a therapist. If you go in there and you see like there's a lot of people and they're willing to help and they understand what you're going through. He just kind of stepped right into that role that I have been missing all my life, having a real father to be there. He stepped right into that spot. Without Kaufman, everybody would just be lost. I mean, people used to fight like three fights a day. Now, there's no fights. Everybody's smiling and talking and having fun, and that's what we want. You right to heal, you right to see, and by you going up and sharing that with people, that's giving them some clarity. And if you're able to articulate your story, a conflict or something going on in your life, you've got a little bit more control over it. So you have kids from over 40 countries that attend our school talking about real world issues. A lot of kids liked Trump's rhetoric. We're not having a conversation in order to win it, but we're having a conversation in order to understand each other. Maurice is uh, 11 or 12 years old, high energy kid. He's very sensitive to the racism in our, in our culture. Him coming here, I think, was a definite response to that. Alicia winning is having family. You show up at your events. Jamila, she's constantly looking for the next level, that next growth spurt. Recognition. I think it'll be a real game changer.